I'm going to do some level design on stream today. It's not really a new lighting system, it's just a specific thing, but it involves this level which is currently completely broken. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll have a look at th that later. But otherwise I'm going to do a bit of level design. I've left a level to kind of do on stream. There's, there's a level that we've been wanting to add that's uh, outstanding. And we are going to try and do it today on stream. So I'm going to take one of our existing levels, just make a duplicate of it and just clean it up and uh, start from there, I guess. Uh, in one of our office levels, we want to introduce these ceiling, <clears throat> these enemies that pop out the ceilings, which I think we, we showed you guys last time. And we kind of wanted to have, for them to have their own distinctive level. We're going to just make one that has lots of ceiling enemies popping out ceilings and probably be a pretty small, simple, like early level in the in the office levels. Sorry, I've got we've got we've got these new mics. There's one basically sitting right on top of my keyboard. So I might sort of type really badly this stream. But uh, yeah, I mean, I type badly anyway. All right. And then I'm going to be doing some character art today, which is like always fun days for me. Uh, we've got a new character. There he is. He's like a badass Illuminati head enemy. So most of the way through this character, I'm probably just going to do a sculpt today and let's see how far we can get. This is going to be one of those streams where everyone looks at the top of my head. Sorry, this was me being a little bit lazy and now I'm paying the price. Yeah, everyone always loves an Illuminati guy. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going over the model and uh, sort of just finding all the little problems that I've not resolved in my Maya scene. Who is this guy? He's the guy. Unless he's talking about me, in which case I don't, I don't know. I don't know which guy. Uh, so this Dude. enemy, if, you're, if this is the question Fortnite Naruto Gaming, this enemy is going to be a uh, corner peeking enemy with uh, a machine gun. Please tell me that everything's fine with Arthur. Is he still alive? Arthur. Well, that's up to you. Depends on whether or not you guys play through the full game and save Arthur. Uh, yeah, so as I said before, this is this is a level we're trying to introduce a new kind of enemy, but it's like quite early on in the offices. So I'm just like playing around with some basic shapes. Uh, this is where the player enters, and then you've got some of this. I don't really know what I'm doing at this stage. I'm just kind of exploring. I'm going to see where it goes from here. So we said when we started the office that we had to have like a reference to the office in there. So I think this level should have like the layout of the office from The Office, the TV show. <laughs> Dean is smiling, Dean is smiling. Smiling, yeah, he's smiling, okay. And Dean's happy too because he's going to dress the section of the level too, which means he can go to like the nth degree with detail and make it. Uh... But yeah, so I think this is, this is like a fun candidate to put this in. So this is a super rough work in progress of what we currently have for the intro. And the idea here is that we we want to just start the player off with like a sense of why they're doing this and like some, some sort of call to action. Uh, so I'll just play it and you can see. So this is obviously all super rough, very, very placeholder-y. Sounding good. Bagel Bean, thank you. 1999, it's too young. This little, this little man, this seems good, thumbs up man. Reminds me of Hyphen. Dude, Jen, this is amazing. Love this scene. <laughs> Dude, that chain is so good. Yeah, and then it kind of kicks you off into the first level. So yeah, that would be the idea. Um, it's what we're playing with. We have like these... Of this elaborately scripted scene, just uh, as they're really rough at the moment. The idea is that we want to introduce these like five um, sort of special limited edition sneakers, which have been stolen by Goo Cop in this case. And then you're going to sort of a call to action to like collect five sneakers from each of the five bosses. This may turn into four, depending on how many bosses we get through, or it may turn into six. I've left enough space for 10 or 12. So if we get, yeah, if we get, if we get far enough. <laughs> And the foot, the foot scene where Goo Cop calls you up or uh, sends you the facts about Arthur, that would that would probably still be in in some capacity. Um, we'll 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 make the scene a lot more exciting as well. Sounds silly, but our goal is to deliver you the best possible version of Angle Foot for you guys. And the success of the Steam demo definitely was like huge for us. And now we feel like we know what we want to do and we know what we need to achieve. 
It'll, yeah, it'll blow people's minds. How much percent of the game is already done, approximately? 5 to 10 percent? It's tricky to say. So much of game design isn't like the content of the game. It's the systems that allow us to make the content. I'm the new Luke. Welcome, Luke. I'm just gonna sit here and eat, eat my peanut butter on stream. Okay, that was fun. I'm now gonna go write a scathing, scathing message on the company Discord. Dude, people, people believe in the banana, okay? Angerford has a friend besides his girlfriend? It's a good question. Angerford's quite a bit of a loner. He's got antisocial tendencies, but he's, he's, he's a good boy and he only wants to do well by the people he loves. I imagine he probably would have one or two other close friends. Do this thing justice, Dean. Dean's not here. Oh, uh, fuck. This is purely self-indulgent, by the way. This is a this is just a fun, different way of, like, in no way how we make levels. And, but we do apply this level of kind of stupidity, so. Hello. Here we go. I'm in the mumble. I thought this uh, this stream had too much high-quality microphone action and not enough mm. echo. I really it's just joined to uh, Jim. I want to let you know that you're looking great. Oh, that's the great. The camera there, yeah. Okay, great. You must have, cool. you must have a good Us and the boys webcam and uh, rim light. Oh right, okay. So Robbie wants me to point out that this is his setup, and I would I would show it to you if I could, but obviously that would involve <laughs> but, it turning it would, on it itself. Would fall, it, it would fall off if you if you bumped yeah. it in anyway. Yeah. yeah, I could take a photo of it with my phone and show everyone. Now I can hold that up to here. That's what that's what we're looking at. Is that going to work? My mind's like holding in on itself, trying to perceive what I'm. I, I just wanted to compliment you on looking good and you know yeah. thanks there we go it's a good vibe yeah jim why did you have to make it so weird guys as soon as i come across an asset that we don't have that's the end of this level design session i'm just letting you know that so we've got them working in the game they're just functionally a they've got the cat model at the moment so let me show you what that looks like but they're gonna have like this fan shootout and hide behind cover almost don't have enough props for this guys i'm just this is this table is a little uninspiring. Robbie's tables, pure garbage. Sorry, no offense, Robbie. I did. I don't think I fully understand how no offense work. Guys, if you haven't watched The Office, who the f am I making this level for? I watched The Office. I like it. I'd honestly love to watch Robbie watch things for the first time. <laughs>